Yes. And I hope it works. Actually, let me turn the lights off. Can you see me? Ooh, it's 538. It's flashing so fast. Camera really can't keep up with it. Awesome. Wow, it's epilepsy on the stick. That's better. I can almost keep up with that. If I put it back here. Right now it's flashing, but you can't tell because it's flashing so quickly. Yeah, you can kind of tell. What else you got? Ooh, different color flash. I can kind of see it flashing. The red flash. Wow. Can you believe it? 50% off? I can't believe it. I bought a couple of them. I'm going to give one away tomorrow. In fact, I think this is encased in plastic I'm supposed to take off. Hmm. Or is the plastic part of the stripes and stars? It is. So what's this thing? Is this supposed to come off? Made in China. Well, go figure. Plus I got one of these. It's another... Wow, it really messes up the color balance on the camera, doesn't it? Epilepsy on a stick. Look at that. It's interesting. Look how, look how the way the camera picks it up, it looks like it's going like this, but really it's just flashing. But it's got that flashing rate that's not quite matching up with the hertz of the camera, so it's kind of like when you look at a... Uh, a monitor in the olden days when the monitors were at the wrong rate for the camera to catch. Look at that. Neat. So awesome. All right. So half off. Walgreens had, and still has, check your local Walgreens, some solar-powered spikes. They get the little solar cell on it, and then at night it lights up to light up your walkway or whatever. They were 75% off. So when they're 50 cents each, what do you do? I bought 12. Would I have paid 2 bucks each for them, the regular price? No. But mark them down to 50%, and I'll get a dozen. So that's how I blew six bucks. Right now they're all uh, still in a container on top of the barbecue. And they do all work. They all light up spectacularly. But now i got to figure out where to put them. After you've been married for eight years, almost nine years, one of the most fun things you can do to your spouse is to buy 12 tiny solar-powered lights and figure out how to... Uh, be most annoying to her with them. That's what marriage is all about. Uh oh. That could be my wife right now. Just got home. Ooh, we're going to go to Costco. I better hurry up then. Uh, today is Thursday. It's 5.42 p.m. now. 75 degrees. Cloudy and gray which doesn't bode well for the grass seed I planted last night after I went ahead and mowed the lawn because it wasn't raining at the house. And now I'm wondering if I actually made my sunburn worse because I feel more red than I did yesterday, and I look more red, but I can't tell if that's Sunday sunburn or what. I got a package in the P.O. box. It's a shirt. Now, I don't remember if I ordered this or not, but I figured I would wait and open it in front of you in case one of you sent it to me. I feel like I probably ordered it myself, but for the life of me, I can't remember what I ordered. Ah, you know what this is? Wow, super sweet. 
Now I know. I did order it. I took part in the Kickstarter for Manos, The Hands of Fate, uh, being remastered for Blu-ray. I can't remember how I found it. I think somebody said something on Twitter, I think. And I ended up saying something on Twitter, and somebody said, Ah, oh, you got that from me. And I was like, No, I didn't get it from you, but yeah. Uh, so you know what I'm talking about. I also got a Manos Hands of Fate lapel pin. Now that is super awesome. I will totally wear this tomorrow, which is good because I had a party I need to make an impression at. This would be the perfect shirt to wear. Wow. This, of course, is uh, Torgo. You remember Torgo, right? Manos. Hands of fate. Where are you at? Still in the office. Hang on a minute. i got to text my wife. Thank you. Still at work. I think they're open until 8.30. Aren't they open until 8.30? I could be crazy. I'm going to pull up Costco and see how late my Costco is open. Right now, if Rich Barry were watching this, he would totally give up and stop watching. But we know he doesn't get more than a minute into these anyway. Ah, okay. Interlocation. St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Give me those hours, baby. Open until 8.30. Wow. I remember the most trivial stuff and can't remember the most important stuff. I went to Cub Foods to get some cheap soda to refill my cheap soda stash here. And they were out of soda. But they had a coupon from Irochan, 33 cents each. Now, that's not 28 cents each, as it is at Walmart. But I will pay a nickel for new and exciting flavors. And they had them. They had chicken. The Walmart in St. Paul didn't have chicken. So I got some chicken. But I also got all these flavors I hadn't seen before. There's this flavor. It's called chicken vegetable. It's got more vegetables in it, I guess. I don't know. I did notice it has cabbage in it, and I'm not think this one has cabbage in it. So that's kind of interesting. And then if you don't like chicken in your vegetable, you can have California in your vegetable with real California. The thing about California vegetable is, let me find it, because I checked. It's still got chicken broth in it, so it's not really very vegetarian. This is the craziest one of all. I didn't even know this existed. Not only is it cheese, it's jalapeno cheddar. Yes, they found a way to make a hot and spicy cheese flavor. What's that, Kim? Okay. Now I have, back over here, in this corner, 12 flavors of Marochan. Can you believe it? And that's not even all the ones I know about because I still don't have any, at the moment, I don't have any roast chicken. So that means there are at least 13 flavors, which I have 12. And again, I shouldn't have to have an expensive lunch for at least 30 some odd more meals. <sighs> Crazy, ain't it? Is there anything else I was supposed to show you? What did Greg have to say? Obviously, Kevin Marshall doesn't watch these enough to know they are 10 minutes, not 15. Yeah, well, he may have been exaggerating for comedic effect. What did that guy up there do to get banned? Yeah, he, uh, his brother took over the account and started leaving some stuff, which thankfully most of you didn't get to read because we have uh, wonderful moderators who delete that stuff and make sure you don't ever have to put up with that crap. He will probably be back uh, Monday night, Tuesday morning, with a new account after he endures another lecture from me. I don't know why he keeps coming back. I don't know why I still think he can be salvaged. 
but what you're going to do. It's all part of community. I realized after watching yesterday's, and I really didn't want to because it was a bummer, but even though I made that point of how we all make our statements about, you know, don't do this, go get some help, and then it doesn't uh, actually accomplish anything because people keep killing themselves, I went ahead and said all that stuff anyway. So I guess, you know, it doesn't hurt, and why not? But I wasn't really going to cover yesterday at all anymore. I, I'm, I'm through with it. I'm going to move on. But I did notice, in case you were wondering, you probably weren't. So that's it for today because I'm late. Uh, we're going to close up the week tomorrow and then uh, I'll uh, drink some more. That'll be awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.